everyone, it's Hermione and today's video is going to be about cleaning one area of your room and that is your closet. I am really trying to minimise my wardrobe and clean out some stuff while I'm at it so if you're doing the same thing, this video is for you. I'm going to break it up into a bunch of easy steps that you can follow so if you do like the sound of that, keep watching but before we get into it, if you are new, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and subscribe to my channel. Also you can check out my social media which I will link down below and like this video if you like it, comment if you need to tidy up your closet slash wardrobe slash floor drove area too. So without further ado, let's get into the cleaning. So the first thing I do when I'm cleaning out my wardrobe and my drawers is clean a space like my bed behind me. The bed method. You might have seen this in my other videos, but it works so well for me. I clean off the whole bed, I make it nice and flat, and then I put all of my stuff on the bed in piles. So you're gonna take out everything from your closet, your drawers, anywhere you have clothes, take it out, put it on the bed. Even if you have stuff from the laundry room that you haven't finished doing yet, bring it all in. You need to be able to evaluate your whole situation. If you can see it in front of you and see how much stuff you have, you might be inclined to get rid of more stuff because you realize you have too much. Before we get into organizing this into piles and sections, I'm gonna say it is now time to actually clean. So I'm just using a simple cleaning wipe and I'm cleaning the inside of my wardrobe which actually hasn't been done in years, I think. It's so gross. I didn't know how bad it was because it was really dark in there. So clean it from top to bottom, clean the sides, clean the bottom most importantly and even clean the rail because the rail gets dusty. Clean your hangers, clean the insides of your drawers, clean everything. Before you start putting stuff back, now is your time to create an action plan of where you want stuff to go. Do you want your stuff in the same places that they were in before or do you want to rearrange your pyjamas or your workout clothes and put them somewhere more accessible? This is the best time to do it while everything is cleaned out. And before you put anything back in your wardrobe, you might want to go and buy some new hangers if you have mismatching hangers. I think the most important thing, if you can afford it, is to buy a set of really durable hangers that all match. This is something I'm slowly working on. I'm trying to fill my closet with these velvet hangers because they make sure that the clothes do not slip. But I have so much stuff and these are quite expensive so I only have about half a wardrobe full of these right now. If not and you are struggling to keep your clothes on the hanger, you can take regular plain plastic hangers and put a little bit of hot glue on the arms and once it's dry your clothes should not be able to fall off. Fingers crossed, hopefully. Life hack. <laughs> okay, so now is the critical time for your wardrobe clear out. You're gonna sort your stuff into different piles. I personally sorted mine into five different categories, but three will do. So here are the most important three. The keep pile, obviously. <laughs> the get rid of slash donate slash give to friends pile. <laughs> And the seasonal pile, the clothes that you're going to put away and store somewhere else. If, like me, you wanted a couple of extra piles, because why not? I also had two piles. One was a maybe pile that I was thinking about and I wasn't sure if I wanted to get rid of or not. And the second one was a I need to fix this or I'm going to DIY this pile. That's a personal preference, but if you're not into fixing slash DIYing clothes and they are really broken, you can't do anything with them, you might want to recycle them. While you're putting your clothes in the piles, make sure that you do sniff them, you check them for stains, anything that needs to go in the laundry, put it to one side and take it downstairs and wash it. And that goes for seasonal clothes too. You don't want to be piling a bunch of your seasonal clothes away and then taking them out and realizing they're really gross in six months time. Once you've got all your piles arranged, take your keep pile and put them back in your closet. I organized mine by category and then by color. So I had jackets and coats, jumpers, sweaters, things like that, long sleeve dresses, short sleeve dresses, and tops. And I organized them from lights to colors to dark. I recommend not hanging things like tank tops and t-shirts. I only like to hang up things that really need to be hung up because otherwise they'll get creased or they just look better hung up. Things like formal clothes or nice party dresses need to be hung up, whereas t-shirts and stuff not so much. Once I've put back all of my clothes that I want to keep, I then look at my not sure pile. I go through and see what I definitely want and I put it back and anything I'm still not sure about, I put in backwards. So the hanger goes in the other way around. 
This way, in six months time, if I haven't worn that piece of clothing, the hanger is still going to be the wrong way round and it's going to tell me that I haven't worn it and I should probably get rid of it. This one will make the decision for you, so that's, that's a life hack right there. <laughs> Once all of that is done, I actually sprayed some room spray in my wardrobe. I made sure it didn't go on my clothes, but I sprayed it on the top and the bottom to make it smell nice and clean and fresh. Putting all my stuff back in my drawers, I use my clothes folder, which you might have seen in another video. It's so quick and easy to do, and it helps me categorize my clothes so I can see everything in my drawers. The only thing I don't do this with is pajamas and workout clothes, which I store in big old square boxes. With bags and things, I just take a giant bag and put all of my little purses and bags that I'm not gonna be using anytime soon in there and I stuff that at the bottom of my wardrobe so it's accessible and I know where everything is. Then you're going to get onto the stuff that you want to store and for me that is my winter clothes. So what I've done is I vacuum packed them. I bought these vacuum bags in the one pound store. They are so cheap. You get two in a pack. They're not great but they do the trick and as long as they keep the moths out of my clothes that's all I want. So I pack them all away, suck as much of the air out of them as possible, and I put them in a closet somewhere else in the house. And then to my get rid of pile, while I was sorting my clothes, I would ask myself a few questions. First question I ask is, is the item damaged? Too damaged beyond repair so I can't stitch it up? If that's the case, then it's probably time to recycle it. Another important question to ask yourself is, would I buy this item if I saw this on the rail right now? If you wouldn't buy it, there's no point keeping it get rid of it and get it out of your life. Anything that's not damaged and is in good condition, I ask myself, when was the last time I wore this? Would I wear it anytime soon? And if the answer is no, I have to get rid of it. Most of my clothes I donate, but I used to sell a lot on eBay. I'm kind of thinking I should try Depop. If you guys have actually used it before, you have any tips, and ideas about how to use it, please let me know in the comments because I am dying to try it out. And if I do, I will let you guys know in a video or on Instagram or something. So that is everything and I know it sounds like a big task but I only do this full routine twice a year and then intermittently I decide to like look in my closet and see, hey, haven't worn that and take it out. So I only do this every six months when I change my seasonal clothes. It's not that big a deal and it only took me like an hour and a half or something like that. It was, it was really quick. I hope this video helped you guys and inspires you to do some organizing and some cleaning in your bedroom or your home. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out my social media and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and 